Howdy folks, Jamboriki here, and I'm going to be fulfilling a request from a patron called Diego Bereno. Their request was 9.99. 9.99 is an Israeli-Australian stop-motion film based on the short stories of Edgar Carrot that follows the lives of a bunch of people living in the same apartment complex. It also features the angel of a homeless man who committed suicide and has been sent back to Earth to get perspective, but just ends up hanging around the flat of a lonely old man. So, the main connections between all these stories are that they are all about characters from the same apartment building, and that each one is about yearning for something. But that's as far as it all goes. In terms of mood, worldview, and execution, they're all quite different, which does create variety, but also makes it hard to see their relevance to each other. Characters very rarely cross paths, too. It's not very common to see how one neighbor's life affects another's. Everyone is already fixated on their own. The angel could have been a center focus, like the poster implies, but he mainly crashes in a lonely old man's house, complains about being stuck on Earth, and then randomly gets killed off. Sure, he ends up motivating the old man to find happiness, but that's not what the angel is actively trying to do. He's not come to visit the apartment to change or observe lives, he's just a grumpy homeless man with wings. I'm bored. What? Now that you've put the queens down, it's starting to uh, get intriguing. Another disconnect is that each story concludes in their own way. So, each story concludes either optimistically or pessimistically, leaving me feeling bewildered how I'm meant to come out of the movie. Should I be more realistically cynical? Do I need a more positive outlook? Do we need to find light in the darkness? Or is life just constant failures and disappointments? I have no idea because each story ends differently. None of the characters really spoke to me either, as each one is quite one-dimensional, which would be fine if these stories were just standalone short films, but this is a feature, and flat characters become boring to follow after some time. I guess I kind of felt sorry for the lonely old man, he's a sweet dude and I wanted him to find company, but really, it's easy to get an audience to sympathise with a character like this. The film does sometimes have its moments though, little poignant ideas that made me think. The idea of paying to find the meaning of life, how death can affect a person, what it means to be charitable without feeling manipulated, and finding sentimental value in small things. Which is good and all, but you still have to sit through a lot of meandering because, well, not much really happens in this film. No. This isn't working. Although I will admit that I enjoyed the surreal elements of the film. They spice it up, make it more interesting. Plus, there's an ambivalence toward the surrealism as well. You can't really be sure what is real and what is not. The movie never bashes you over the head about that answer. Give it here! Yo. Bisley one, bitch, girlfriend, zero. What the fuck are you doing? The animation is very fluid and sophisticated for an independent art house film. I was impressed by the small, subtle movements and thoughtful gestures. I did also quite like the handcrafted touch to the puppets. They look like paintings brought to life. You can even see the paint strokes. However, the facial expressions leave a lot to be desired, being quite stilted and hard to read. I often couldn't tell what kind of face a character was pulling, and the body movements aren't expressive enough to compensate for this. To conclude, I think that 999 would have been a far stronger project if each story was divided into their own respective shorts, because squashing them all together didn't really work for me. I understand and respect that the filmmakers tried their best to stitch these stories together, but at the end of the day, these tales weren't originally designed for that purpose as each one is setting out to do their own thing, even if they have a connection of yearning. 999 has its moments of inspiration, the puppets have their charm, and the quirky fantasy adds a surreal edge to the stories, but I can't say that the film works as a whole. I've been Jamboriki, and I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, then feel free to subscribe, like, and share. If you'd like to make a review request to me through my Patreon like Diego did, then head over to my Patreon website and make a $10 or more plus pledge to receive the request reward. Cheerio, folks.